just set up. Coaches, football time. Yeah. And we are we are rolling into spring practice. How does it how does it feel to for football to be starting officially? Well, we're ready. We're prepared. Um, I feel the kids have the right mindset and the right frame of mind. Coaches are unbelievable. Um, I don't want the coaches to outcoach the kids. And you never want the kids to be at another level than the coaches. Okay. You want equilibrium. If, if, if that's the right, right uh, word chosen for that. But I wouldn't mind if the coaches are at a certain level and the kids are right there. Mm -hmm. But I never want the kids, kids and the coaches there. That's problematic. <laughs> we know what we need. We know what we desire. We know what we want. We just really got to affirm that with spring practices. It's almost like we already know what we need, yeah. but we're gonna go out here to make certain that that's the need, and we're gonna address it. Yeah. We we already step ahead of the spring, so to speak. Okay. We this is like a let's just go. It, it's it's like a play that you rehearse for, and you know what all the actors are gonna do on stage, mm -hmm. but you still got to go through the process. Yeah. Because yeah. practice shows you who you can trust yes, and what, what they're, they're doing. doing. Over a period of time. Yeah. Yes. Because strength, strength and conditioning is important. But you, yeah, it is. Strength and conditioning prepares you for what you're able to do consistently. Okay. That's what strength and con it, it. First of all, we want them bigger, stronger, faster, and tougher. You, I, I'm trying to say this correctly. When I played this game, and I hate using myself as an analogy, but when I played this game, I prided myself on being strong, mm -hmm. being fast, and being well-conditioned. That's what I want my team to look like. Strong, fast, in shape. I just told one of the receivers the other day, Jerry Rice wasn't a 4'5", or 4'4", but he was a 4'6", consistently. Gotcha. So when you got tired, he still was a 4'6". Yeah, he's still right there. Yes, yes. Yeah, you may start out equal. But as that game, you know, elapsed, he's still going to be what he was yeah. at the beginning of the game. Yeah. And I need these guys to be well conditioned. But you find that in, in college football during the regular season, mm -hmm. two on paper unmatched opponents look, look competitive, competitive for the first quarter. Right. Maybe into the second. Right. And then depth and conditioning separates. And strength. Yeah. And strength in uh, – Coaching, mm -hmm. coaching, coaching is, is huge. And I feel as though the level of our staff is impeccable. I love the staff. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the daily conversations with the staff. I, I'm excited when I see them make contact with the kids and their teaching styles and uh, their communication um, ability. To, to reach, reach and teach and touch and, and, and motivate these kids. I, I love it. I feel like we have one of the best staffs in the country. And and in that vein, as complimentary as you are to them, you brought them here, so you had to yeah. believe in them. Spring ball presents the opportunity for you to watch them as well. It's right. It's right. I'm not looking for them to fail. I'm looking to them to succeed. I really want to see the level in how they communicate and how they – get that guy to level up. Yeah. How they understand, uh, 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 how they not judge, what, that's not the word I'm looking for, how to assess this talent and how they bring it back and say, we got to move on from that. Gotcha. I, I want to see how they assess talent as well. Mm -hmm. and, and this new era of college football, two or three years old now, with the, mm -hmm. with the summer transfer portals, if I can call it that, as you're evaluating the spring ball, you're still out there looking in the grocery store. To... Out there looking. <laughs> you know, we we ain't no joke in this portal. No. I believe, I hadn't checked uh, recently, but I think we're number one. You are. Right. Yeah. And we ain't got started. 
we haven't got started in the portal yet. Mm -hmm. We about to really get started as soon as we're allowed to. Yeah. And how important is that nationally televised, the only one spring game to uh, that process? Vital, vital, because all these kids today, they want attention, they want affection, they want appreciation, they want to be seen, heard, known, recognized. That That's what they want. Yeah. And, and that, that particular game gives them that ability. Not only that, but say, for instance, a guy isn't what we want. He may be what somebody else wants, yeah, and, they get to and see they're it. able to see him. Mm -hmm. So that that's a huge game for yeah. a multitude of reasons. It's almost mirroring uh, preseason in the NFL. Right, you get to other teams are watching. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's profound. Yeah, the uh, you know you sit here now, uh, we're a good ways away from the football season, about a hundred days away from your last football season. What did, what have you learned? while being here this past 100 days? There has to be change in not only personnel, but the mindsets. Um, oftentimes, when you come into a situation like we came in, first of all, when you get another head coach somewhere, that means it wasn't good, okay? Very rarely do a coach go into a winning program. Because um, usually, if you, if you have a winning program and the coach leaves to for another opportunity they usually glean from within mm -hmm. so that that's an in-house type of thing but when you come into the situation that means there wasn't a lot of success and sometimes people can kind of identify what they feel like was the problem of the failure and not apply themselves to that as well yeah. right you kind of separate that was sure. y'all that one us yeah no no, no it's everybody yeah. We win together in this building and we lose together in this building. And we plan on winning. Yeah. So the mindsets of those individuals got to change or they got to go. Yeah. And that's from custodians, cafeteria, trainers. Oh, that's, that's everybody. Yeah. And th that's not nothing unordinary. I mean, when a, a, a new CEO comes into a new situation, that's normally what happens in the workforce, in the workplace. Why wouldn't that happen in sports? Mm -hmm. That that's normalcy because you got to believe that everyone in house believes in you and your program not someone snickering or uh, 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 not totally are all in on what you're trying to do you can't have that man yeah. you can't have that poison within and if that's the case, we got to rid ourselves of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's the case, but if that's the case, we got to rid ourselves of that. And that's not, what, not only those positions, but players as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what this staff members and players as well. The spring ball allows that type of evaluation. Yeah, we get to see you. Yeah. Can't hide. We, you can't hide. We get to see you under pressure. We get to see you on a day to day basis. We get to see how you move, how you think, how you react, how you interact. We get to see it all. Sounds like you've been looking forward to this. Oh, I love it. I can't wait. I may spend the night here tonight. You know, my bed right over there. <laughs> it's easy to live here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's comfortable. true. So whether it's this first week of spring ball or the culmination of the spring game, mm -hmm. what does a successful spring look like for you? Development. Everything uh, has to develop. I don't, I don't care if it's the last kid on a totem pole we got to put forth the effort to develop him, to make sure he's better at the conclusion of the spring than when he came for the first day of the spring. Mm -hmm. From the conclusion of the matter than when we came, when we first arrived on campus. Whether that kid is here or not, we got to make sure that kid is better. Mm -hmm. that, that's our, um, not dilemma, but that's our objective. We got to enhance him. Now, speaking of enhancement, I got to tell you, the gun's looking right, man. I, I, well, see, I see the biceps over there. I, I've been working. Now, we had a spring game. I'm trying to get right, too, now. Hey, 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 ain't just them, you know, been in there. You know, usually when I'm in the weight room with the kids, I'm watching them. So I got to sneak mine in early or, or sneak mine in over there. So yeah. I, I got to I gotta get right. So you, you include yourself in this development process yes. of getting better. Yes. I got to get better as a coach, as a man, as a father, 
as a leader in all those aspects. I got to get better. I got to be able to touch everything in this building and make them better as well. But come on, man. Who, who's your measuring stick, though? Jesus. <laughs> Everywhere he went, things got better.